Okay, now I have two locomotives on the track. And now I'm going to program both of these simultaneously. The only thing I'm not going to do is program the address number. So, this is how we're going to do this. Notice I've changed it to number 3, which is the default anyway. Alright? So, you do the very same thing, because all that data is still there. And you just click down here, and you go Write All Sheets. Done. That quickly. You can't push the buttons that fast to even do simple programming. So this time, both of these units are completely set up except for the address. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull one of them off the program track. I'm going back over here to this screen. And I'm going to type in... That's 9528, so 9528. Want that. And this time we're not going to do write all sheets because we don't need to. We only need to do a write. Um, I can either do write changes on sheet or write full sheet, which is just this sheet. Done. I could have just did right changes. So that one's done already. So now I pull that off the track. Or put it on the other one that's dead right now. Stick this one on here. And do the same thing. Nine, six, zero, eight. Let's do right changes this time. Done. Just like that. Simple as that. So really cool. And then you can actually just go over here with the controller. Whoops, I'm not dump my couplers on the floor. And just go select loco. Nine. Whoops, I did it again. Dyslexic junk. Uh let's see. Select loco. Nine six zero eight. Let's see if it runs. Uh-oh, why doesn't it? Because I didn't activate it, apparently. I'm on 128 speed step. Hmm, let's see what we did. Okay, I think I found out what happened. For some reason, when I did the right changes, it didn't take the change, I'm not sure why, on those last two units. So I just went in and read it. I'm going to do it now. I got um, 9528. So we're going to read the sheet. Read full sheet. Yeah, for some reason it, it didn't take, I don't know what happened, but it didn't take it for whatever reason. Something went goofy. So, we'll have to put it back in here, 9528, and I want to write full sheet. I'm not sure why 56 is in here. I don't know where it got that from, so we'll fix that. This 3 was on the other one. Okay, so now we should be able to do select loco 9528. Yep, yeah, something, I don't know what happened. It didn't get activated and it got a goofy number, but whatever, it works now. No other issues. There's a few little quirky things with this. Like I say, I'm still learning it, so... It's pretty cool, though, that you can actually clone a decoder, so you don't have to spend the time 
figuring out all the ditch light programming and all that stuff. You just copy the settings and bam, send it down. So anyway, this is just another way that you can do it. It's pretty cool. Thanks for looking.